to go even further beyond! Yeah, my name is Akashi and in this video we're going to be going into whether you should summon on the 4th or 4th banner featuring only, weirdly, only Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the new legendary finish with the Dragon Fist. I won't lie, the best thing about him in my opinion was his blue card, not even his ultimate card, his blue card. But we're going to be looking into whether he's actually worth it to actually pull. A lot of people are already thinking about GT and just like, no, no. But this guy is yellow, which is weird. And because he's the only guy on his banner, there's no other new unit. I wanted to actually look at the banner. Um, for the most part, every video leading up to anniversary at this point is always going to start like this. My straight advice would be to just skip the banner overall because anniversary is going to have more value as a whole. Uh, this is the biggest bait like right now. And uh, the banner lasts for a bit. It's going to start on the 14th. So that's the day of April. And it's going to end on the 24th of May. So in worst case scenario, if you actually do want to summon, I suggest just wait until the last day. Because we might have seen what's coming for anniversary by that point. So don't just be tempted to spend your Chrono Crystals. And if you do spend your Chrono Crystals, don't be in my comments complaining. But let me know at the end of this video what you guys think about anything I've said or the banner itself. So I want to know you guys' own opinions on this. Uh, but we're going to actually see if he's actually worth it. Because this this guy needs to be quality. He's yellow, so Sun Family's eating right now. They're just loving it. Um, he needs to be quality to actually bring up GT. Uh, he's yellow, so he's taking out Saint Shenron. They have a good yellow now, at least. He's going to be decent. But before I get into this video, if you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button on this grand 220k. All my socials are on the top of the screen. This is the YouTube channel, but we've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. But yeah, man, we're going to be going into this banner now. First thing I'm going to look at is actually how the step up works. So you get a guaranteed assist ticket. It's just a regular Sparkins one. So it's still the trash ones, unfortunately, from the seams of it. Uh, you get these as well, which they need to update the shop, otherwise it's still trash. First step's 500. First step, you could probably do that and then dip. But what kind of bugged me was the sparkings on the banner. So, um, and I said sparkings, but there's a new EX Goku Black, which is weird and he's blue. That's irrelevant, honestly. Not going to be looking at him, but looking at these guys here. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku has 0.5% drop rate and then everybody else that's the LF has 0.25 Then the rates are low for everybody, but there's no new sparkings here So if you don't pull him, there's nothing here on the banner that you should be looking for honestly So it's already big bait just looking at it I would I wouldn't mind pulling a pull of Namekyu because if I pull him one more time I can get him Zenkai him as well as him as well three Sun Family Zenkai's and this guy on the same banner Most people have them guys Zenkai's, but if you don't then obviously there's your opportunity to summon looking at him like i said he's yellow he's a melee type here are his tags um what he buffs is probably going to be the biggest factor he, i hope he's single buff but he's an lf so it's unlikely here are his stats at two stars which is quite low i'm not gonna lie Look, blast tag not even touching 200k if i bring up to six stars it's not even that high but i'm actually just gonna look at two stars because the chances of you getting them six stars are quite low honestly so two stars i feel like is way more realistic for an lf uh going down uh some more stats here like nothing too crazy main ability draw the ultimate cards next uh, the dragon fist of rage uh restores on health by 30. restoring health is nice i'm not gonna lie it's very underrated uh, thing that comes um i've been appreciating it a lot more uh as of recent especially with vados uh and key by 40 could have been more and plus 30 percent to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts could have been longer too uh, the unique ability first one, a good clean fight, plus 70% to damage inflicted when battle starts, cannot be cancelled. That's a, a large amount, but the way his stats were so low, I feel like it's not even a big factor, not, uh, not gonna lie. The following effects occur every time when faced with an enemy, restores key by 30, plus 15% to damage inflicted by allies. Uh, plus 50% to damage inflicted by allies. Okay, the allies get a buff here. Um... Applies the following effects to self every time an enemy uses a strike or blast arts, special move, or special move arts attack while this character is on the battlefield or standby. 
Okay. Um, let's see what he gets. Plus five percent inflicted, up to fifty percent. Oh, he's like Gogeta Blue, but in his damage re reduced damage received as well, and it goes up to sixty. But this is limited. So this is, this is this is tapped. This one, nice. This is tapped for five counts, and it goes up to sixty. So I guess the longer the combo goes, the stronger you get. But that's kind of tapped because if he already starts off weak, it's not gonna matter. But I, I I like this. I like this a lot. So he just needs to tank a lot. But I think it even works. Yeah, he he can. Okay, no, never mind. He can be on standby. So it makes a lot of sense actually. This isn't too big of a factor. But this, what if he gets up to fifty percent? If you get him buffed up, that's cool. That that makes a lot of sense. Uh. The next unique ability he receives zero damage when changing cover, so he has cover change the first time. Only that's so it only activates once. Applies the following effects to self per defeated battle member when this character is on the battlefield. So he restores health for every defeated battle member, plus twenty percent for every defeated battle member, and he can actually uh, do forty percent more damage inflicted if he's the last battle member. Every defeated battle member when this character is on the battlefield. So it's not even just allies; it's everybody actually. So. Assuming that two of your allies die and two of the enemies die, you could actually get up to, uh, let's do some math, Zakashi. <laughs> oh my god, 20, 40, 60, 80, 80 of each, 80 of each, Jesus, and then 40% uh, health, which is not too bad, not too bad, I'm not going to lie, but I feel like that's very situational. Like, this thing, I like it, because that this buff is actually possible to build up, but then that 50 50 percent is still not that much he might it might feel like a lot on the battlefield but we'll just have to see of course uh the special move i really like plus 30 percent special move damage uh blast armor but it's close range i like how it looks but it's close range i'm not a big fan of close range you can teach it to the shallot uh really cool i like that a lot he doesn't have strike karma that they could have at least gave him strike karma uh blast armor i i feel the green card uh it subs them out forces switching Personally, I don't. I'm not a fan of these green cards at all. When they they force them to switch out, it does have blast armor, but it gives him plus 20% of damage inflicted and inflicts enemy attribute downgrade plus five to sub count. That's going to be quite annoying depending on who it is. The ultimate art uh, applies the following effect. So this is the one hit kill thing they're talking about. Nullifies enemy restore when reaches health when zero. That that's what it should do. That if it didn't do that, this guy would be a bum. <laughs> applies the following effects itself according to the number of remaining battle members. So three battle members, 30%. Two fifty percent, um, and attribute downgrade minus hundred percent to sustain damage cut, and then one battle member. Uh, it's probably just ref when I said earlier, it might be just everybody in the field. But yeah, it's, it's it's clearly just allies when it's saying one, so battle member on your team. Yeah, that 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 this this guy's is not looking too good, mate. He's not looking too good. He's a good last standing unit for his team though. Uh, seventy percent and then a hundred percent. They didn't even increase this. They didn't increase it. They just increased this one. So you can actually one shot kill, but again, it's quite situational. Uh, he gets cards that give damage inflicted occasionally, which is quite neat. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's see what he buffs. Son, family, and Saiyan. So he's a triple buffer. Son. Hey, what's legend? Legends is toxic, man. <laughs> Son GT, then Son Family, then Saiyans. They should have at least put Saiyans first, so Son Family don't eat off this guy. Cause now Rip Goten, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, might need that three stars and then just the souls that you need. So yeah, overall, like <sighs> he's solid. I'm not gonna, like he's good. He's good. LFs are good, but for the standard that is the meta. It's not worth it, in my opinion, to even summon on this banner. Because he's the only one that you'd be looking for on this banner. Unless you're trying to Zenkai somebody else. So you do have a reason to actually go for him, because you could pull one of these. But if you pull one of these and it's not him, that's kind that kind of sucks. But you do get two free tickets if you played the uh, Just Try To Surpass Me event. So try your luck on those. Um, but overall, like it's not looking like it. I'm telling you guys, like it's a skip. I, it, I'm, I'll keep it a stack. It's a skip. Um, yellow, that's the best color they could have given of some family, and uh, probably even Saiyans. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Saiyans have who Goku Youth. I feel like I'm missing somebody. 
but um, he's a good he's a good unit overall. But for what the meta is, he's lagging behind, especially with these stats, man. With these stats, man. But that's my overall opinion. Let me know what you guys think of this. Um, <sighs> Legends Limited Super Saiyan 4 Goku. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed my input. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my information. It's not even my information, but my perspective of the information. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button on this grand to 20k. We'll have to see how he plays out. I always suggest that you guys watch showcases. Try him out in the summon section. You can actually always try him out. But I'm gonna leave it like that, honestly. My name is Akashi, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Watch showcases not just mine if i do it everybody's watch multiple <laughs>